Almost three months now, and some people are still living without gas and hot water at the Big Country Chateau Apartments. But one man tells our Rochelle Turner he wanted to make sure others enjoy a hot Thanksgiving meal when they can't cook one on their own. Rochelle? Well, Ashley, good afternoon to you. Michael Ford says with all of the problems people have been dealing with at the complex, he just wanted to let them know they're not alone. Ford has gas at his apartment, but no hot water. He says today was all about coming together, eating food, and just having a good time. We all have something to be thankful for. I'm thankful that somebody was able to get a stove where we all can have a hot meal. I'm thankful that I woke up. I'm thankful I got my family with me. Demonte Phipps has six children. His family still living without gas and hot water at his big country chateau apartment home. We're still in the same situation we've been in since September. From gas leaks, living in the hot summer months, to now trying to stay warm as the temperatures drop, it's a struggle for many families. I feel, I feel anger. I really do. Sometimes I just get tired of the whole situation. Michael Ford lives at the complex. Oh, we got ham, we got dressing, we got a lot of different pies. He wanted others to enjoy Thanksgiving. Because someone has always helped me in these times of needs like this. So I'm grateful to help people. Yeah, I'm very thankful for that. Uh, you know, Michael is really my father-in-law, so we always be over here anyway. So that's just like... It's family, so we just, we thankful. Even though they are thankful to have a roof over their head, Phipps and several others are just hoping the gas will be turned on back soon. Yeah, I can't not wait for it to be over, because any time longer, I might just go ahead and move. Now, Ford says he will serve others at the complex all this evening. As far as the gas situation, the property attorneys will be back in court on December 16th. Back to you. All right, thanks for the update, Rochelle.